on Broadway for 1600 Simone, the daughter of singer Nina Simone, took over the title role in this Elton John and Tim Rice show in 2002. Faith. What is Aida? Right. What happens is that my mother and I, okay, I love to compare this to Star Trek. You know, Star Trek with James T. Kirk and Spock, my favorite series ever. It goes into the, the transporter and it gets separated. Woo! And then it comes back together. That's my mom and I, Simone on Simone. It's the past and the present um, merging into one. And um, as I said earlier, the best of. So it's me honoring my mother, honoring who I am, where I come from, and um, taking it from there. Oh, love me or leave me and let me be lonely. You won't believe me, but I love you only. I'd rather be lonely than happy with somebody else. What maybe most people's experiences in putting songs together for an album might be one of a lot of hours of grueling over the decision. For me, it was about 15 minutes. And that was after, I guess, you know what? I realized I started singing after a couple glasses of wine, and I put the songs together to this album after a couple glasses of wine. Maybe that's, maybe that's the ticket. I had a lot of help from the charts that uh, were left to me by my mother. And combine that with the albums that I have. I just so happen to have the charts. I just so happen to have the album. I just so happen to have 19 piece big band. Cool, let's do it. My, my confidence in terms of being a, a, on the stage, respecting the stage, and knowing what it takes to do what I do and do it consistently under any and all circumstances so far has come from Broadway. I know expectations are wild and almost beyond my fulfillment, but they won't tear. Most of my Broadway friends laugh because they always remember me saying, I just want to be a singer. I, I don't want to act. I just, I just want to be a singer. Looking at my mother, Nina Simone, as a musician, respect, honor, perfection. I used to sit next to her and watch her play the piano. It just sent me to another place. It's just before she died, she would say, does the music ever stop playing in your head? And I was like, yeah, unless I'm writing a song. And she would tell me that in her head it never stopped. When she was married to my dad, sometimes he would hold her at night and tell her stories to get the music to stop in her head so she could sleep. I don't know what that's like, but having breathed the same air as she, having watched her for so long, I think that a lot of her musicianship, I just absorbed. Birds flying high, got the right key? I got it. You know how I feel. Mm -hmm. Now that I've been listening to Simone on Simone for about three or four months now, um, I do see a common thread. Um, it's my life. Drifting over. You know how I feel. It's a new dawn. Look at me.
It's a new day. It's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. Fish in the sea, you know how I feel. When I sing certain songs that mommy sang, being a mother, a wife, an entertainer, a businesswoman, and Nina's daughter, Sometimes I feel like the two of us have merged into one, and the best qualities of my mother, if you will, remain and live on through me and the songs I've chosen to do. Oh, freedom. 